Hello everyone, this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. I had one of my special subscribers email me and she needed to have a dishcloth. She wanted two rounds of double crochet and then she needed some V stitches and she couldn't figure it out. So I did it for her and this is for you. This is called the V Stitch Lace Dishcloth. It's pattern number 516. This is a free pattern and it is available on creativegrandma.net as a free immediate download. So get on my website and you'll see Creative Grandma Patterns on a banner in the top left corner. Just click that. You'll be able to scroll down through all the patterns and find it. You can just click on it and it'll let you download it immediately right to your own computer. And again, it is a free pattern. These beautiful dish claws were made using Premier Home Cotton yarn. This is wonderful, wonderful cotton yarn. Premier Home Cotton Yarn is a mixture of 85% cotton and 15% polyester. It gives really long lasting life to your dish claws. Very, very nice cotton yarn. I use it for every dish cloth. I really love their products. They come out with these new colors called Splash. Very nice marbling in the color. And then they also come out, you can see this right here, this is what they call speckled. So they have beautiful speckled cotton yarns now and they have the beautiful, beautiful splash colors which is a marbleized, very, very pretty, pretty yarn. And the splashes is what this pink is and the speckled has other colors speckled throughout. Very, very gorgeous. Now I do have four samples this time to show you. This one I used colored speckled yarn in the middle. I brought the white out. I used the speckle and then I did a darker blue splash and then the speckled. So this is that one. And then this one is the one we're going to be making in the video today. Sorry my ends aren't woven in. This one I only used two colors. This one I used three. This one I only used two. I used the pink splash in the middle I used the white and then I brought the pink back out. I used the white again and brought the pink out. But then, because it's Christmas, I had to make a Christmas one. So you can kind of see the difference. I kind of really love these splashes and the speckled. I just love the coloration of that. And then I did a solid white one. Now this is hard to see. But I just wanted to show you the difference of what changing colors can do. Premier Home Yarns Cotton Yarn has such a wonderful collection of colors. You won't know which colors to choose. You're going to love them all so much. Okay, so to get this pattern started, you're going to need whatever colors you want to put in this dishcloth. You can use one color, two colors, or three colors. Now the instructions are going to be written for three colors but you can choose, just like I said, when you're changing this color yarn, you don't have to use that third color. You can just bring your white back out or you can do what I did here and use that third color. So you're going to need a size H8 crochet hook or a five millimeter hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and I'll be right back to get this quick and easy dishcloth pattern started. So I already have my loop on my hook. I chose Bubblegum Splash by Premier Yarns. Beautiful blending of the pinks. Really nice color. So to start this project, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to skip these first three chain. We're going to insert our hook into that fourth chain from hook. And we're going to work a slip stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. You just created a ring. So you're going to have to pull that apart and look for that center right here is where you're going to work all your stitches for round one. So for round one, we're going to begin and we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. This chain three acts as our beginning double crochet. 
Now we're going to work a total of 12 double crochet in our ring. So yarn over the hook. You're going to come down here and find the center of that ring. Let me squeeze it open a little. Here's the center of the ring. Insert your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through that ring. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made your first double crochet of the 12 needed. I'll show you one more time how to work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook. You're going to insert it into that same center of that ring. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that ring. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. We just made our second double crochet. So go ahead and work 10 more double crochet in the center of your ring and I will meet you when you're finished. I just finished my 12 double crochet. So if you count your stitches, you will have 12 double crochet and then you will have your beginning chain three space. So to join our round, you're going to go up and count up to the third chain, one, two, three. Insert your hook into the top of that beginning chain three. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. You just slip stitched round one together. So we're going to start round two. So start the round, we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to come right back down. Here's your chain three and there's a little space right on this right on the side of that chain three you just made. You're going to insert your hook right there. Yarn over the hook, go down into that space of that beginning stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull it through the stitch. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You now have your beginning chain three and you have a double crochet all in that same beginning chain three space. So to finish round two, we're going to work two double crochet in each double crochet around. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that next double crochet stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that stitch, three loops on hook. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, two loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You made your first double crochet of the two. We need to make one more in the same stitch here. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made your two double crochet in that next double crochet stitch. So go ahead and repeat that around. You're going to work two double crochet in each double crochet around. When you get to the end of round two, you should have a total of 26 double crochet and that is including your chain three space. I'll be right back and show you how to join your round. I'm at the end of round two and you should have a total of 26 double crochet which includes your chain three space. So we're going to slip stitch together like we did for round one. We're going to count up to the third chain, insert your hook into that chain, yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. So to do round three, we're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to come over to your next double crochet, insert your hook into that next double crochet, yarn over the hook and bring it through all loops on your hook. We are going to work a chain three, slip stitch into the next double crochet, chain three, slip stitch into the next double crochet and that will be our repeat around. So I'll show you one more time. 
chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to come over and look for your next double crochet stitch. Insert into that stitch, yarn over the hook, and pull it through all loops on your hook. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. You're going to find your next double crochet stitch, insert into the top of that stitch, yarn over the hook, and bring it through all loops on your hook. So that is your repeat. Go ahead and repeat that around. Chain three, slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain three, slip stitch into the next double crochet. I will meet you at the end of round three and I'll show you how to join. I am at the end of round three. I just worked my last chain three slip stitch in the last double crochet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to end with a chain three. One, two, three. And you're going to come over right to the top of your beginning chain three where you made that first slip stitch and you're just going to come back over here in that same space, yarn over the hook, and pull it through all loops on your hook. You're just going to work a slip stitch in that same beginning slip stitch space. And that finishes your round. So now I'm going to fasten off my work. I just clip my yarn. I chain two, one, two. I pull my thread out. And then I just grab this and you pull it down. Now be careful how tight you pull it because you can, you can break your yarn. And then I'll weave this in later. Okay, so now we're going to start round four. So I'll be right back. I'm going to grab my white yarn and we'll get started. I grab my white yarn. I'm just going to leave a small length, about three inches. I'm just going to put it right up against that pink. Now I start in that beginning chain three space right on the left side of, or right side if you're left handed. It's the left side if you're right handed. I'm going to insert my hook in that beginning chain three space. I'm going to grab that new color and I'm just going to pull it through. So we're going to start with a chain four one, two, three, and four. This counts, the first chain three is a double crochet, that will count as our first double crochet, and then we needed a chain one. Now we need to work a double crochet in the same beginning chain three space. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that beginning chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. This is your V-stitch. It's the chain three is your double crochet. You need the chain one and then another double crochet. So I am going to take my white yarn and pull it back because I don't want to work over it because there's too much space between here, but I will be working over my pink. I'll go back and when I work the next round, I'll just pull this up and work my stitches over it. Okay, so this is the beginning of our repeat around. We're going to work one V-stitch, which consists of a double cro one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet in each chain three space around. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that next chain three space. Grab my pink yarn so I can work over it, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made your first double crochet of your v-stitch, chain one, and you're going to work one more double crochet in the same space. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain three space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made another V-stitch. So I'm going to show you one more time, yarn over the hook, insert it into that next chain three space, 
and work one double crochet. Chain one. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain three space. Yarn over the hook and pull it through that space. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made your second V stitch. So go ahead and work this around. You're going to work one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet in each chain three space around. I will meet you at the end of round four. I'm at the end of round four and your work will have a little bit of a ruffle to it. It will look like there's too many stitches, but with the next two rounds, it slowly tightens that up and pulls that flat. But if you take your hand, it does flatten right out. So to join our round, you're going to count up to the third chain of this beginning chain four. So count one, two, three, insert your hook, yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. You just slip stitched round four together. So rounds five and six will be the same. You're going to slip stitch over into this beginning chain one space in between your v-stitch, right in the center of that v-stitch. Insert into that space, yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. You're going to chain four, one, two, three and four. The chain four is your beginning double crochet plus your chain one. So then we need to make a double crochet in the same beginning chain one space. Yarn over the hook, insert into that chain one space and work a double crochet. You're going to look for the next chain one space in the center of the next V stitch. Yarn over the hook, work one double crochet. Chain one. And then one more double crochet all in the same chain one space. So yarn over the hook, work another double crochet in that same chain one space. So you just completed a V stitch. So you're going to work one V-stitch in the center of each V-stitch around. So our repeat will be one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet in the chain one space of each V-stitch around. I'll show you one more time. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain one space of that next V-stitch and work a double crochet. chain one, yarn over the hook and work a double crochet into that same chain one space of that same v-stitch. And that is your repeat. You will work all the way around in round five. You will join in the third chain like we just did to finish this round. And then you'll work round five one more time and I will meet you at the end of round six. I'm over at the end of round six and I still have a little bit of a ruffle in, but if you take your hand, just go like that, it does lay flat. It just pushes those stitches together. It's just when I'm working, I crunch and stuff when I go across and then it looks like that. So just use your hand, pat it down, it lays flat. We're going to go over and we're going to join just like we did in the last two rounds. We're going to count up to that third chain of our beginning chain four. One, two, three. Insert your hook into that chain. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. So now I'm going to fasten off my white. And again, you can fasten off whichever method you choose that you like. I chain two, and then I pull that yarn through. I hold this yarn, I just use my fingers, and you're going to pull that down. And it just creates a knot. And then I weave that in later. I'm going to grab my new color. I'm going to bring that pink splash back for the next round. And I'll be right back 
to start round seven. I'm over at the end of round six. I fastened off my work and I'm getting ready to pull my new color through. Now this is my preferred method. If you prefer to pull that new color through before you fasten off in that last loop, that is your discretion of how you want to do it. When I do a video, this is how I do it, but it's not written in stone. If you have a preferred method of what you like, please use your method. Insert your hook into that beginning chain one space of that beginning shell. I'm going to take my new color, which I'm using the same color as I did in the center. I'm just going to pull that new color through and we're going to chain one. We're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, in all in the same beginning chain, chain one space. So insert your hook into that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the space. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You're going to chain two, one, two. You're going to insert your hook into that same chain one space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over the hook and bring it through two loops on your hook. You just made your next single crochet. So basically this is a single crochet V-stitch. You're working a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So now all we're going to do is we're just going to work our single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the chain one space of each V-stitch around. So we're going to skip these two double crochet here. You're going to look for the center of your next V-stitch where the chain one space is. You're going to insert your hook into that chain one space. Now I have some thread back here. I'm just going to work over my white thread and help weave that in. So yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain one space and work your first single crochet. You're going to chain two. You're going to insert your hook into that same chain one space and work a single crochet. So you just worked your single crochet V-stitch. So we're just going to repeat that around. You're just going to find your next chain one space so this is the current V-stitch you just worked. You're going to look for your next V-stitch and you're going to look for that chain one space. Insert your hook into that next chain one space. Work your single crochet. Chain two. Insert your hook into that same chain one space and work a single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that around. You'll be working a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, in each chain one space of each V-stitch around. I will meet you at the end of round seven and I'll show you how to join your round. I'm over at the end of round seven and this is what your work should look like so far. So now we're going to join our round so all we're going to do is we're going to come up, we're going to find our first single crochet of that first V-stitch we made. We're going to insert our hook into the top of that single crochet, yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on the hook. I'm just going to fasten off my work. I chain two, one, two. I pull that yarn out and then I take a hold of my string, I use my fingers and I pull that down. I'm trying to show it. My fingers are big. I can't do it and show it. Okay, you just pull that down and it forms a knot. Okay. So on some of my other samples I use two different colors. We do three rounds for the outside border and I was using like say pink and then I was actually going to use this darker pink but I think I'm going to use white and make this a two color one. I just think it might look prettier. So I'm going to grab my white. I'm just going to butt it up against my yarn like I did before. Insert your hook into that first chain two space. You, you fastened off here. 
you're going to insert your hook into that beginning chain two space of that first V stitch and you're going to pull that white through. You're going to chain one. You're going to work one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet all in the same beginning chain two space. So basically round eight will be the same as round seven. We're going to work one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet in each chain two space around in each V stitch. So let me show you a couple more times. Find your chain two space of that next V stitch. This is the one you just worked. This is our next V stitch. You're going to insert your hook into that chain two space and you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, insert your hook into that same chain two space and work another single crochet. You just worked your single crochet V stitch. So now you're going to find the chain two space of your next V stitch. Insert your hook into that chain two space. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet all in that same chain two space. So that's what you're going to do for round eight. So go ahead and work your single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each chain two space around. I will meet you at the end of round eight and we'll join our round. I'm over at the end of round eight and this is what your work should look like. So I'm going to come up here and we're going to join our round. I'm going over to the beginning single crochet of that first V stitch. Insert your hook in that beginning single crochet. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to chain two. One, two. I'm going to pull up on my hook and pull that yarn all the way through that loop. I grab this thread and I just pull down and it knots it. And I'll weave all these ends in when I'm finished. Okay, so we're going to start our last round, which is round nine. So we're getting ready to start round nine. So I'm going to insert my hook into this beginning chain two space of this beginning V stitch. I inserted my hook. I'm going to grab that new color and I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to chain one. So to start our round, this will be our repeat. We're going to work two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet in the chain two space of each V stitch around. So let's begin. Insert your hook into that chain two space. Yarn over the hook and work your first single crochet. Insert your hook into that same chain two space. Yarn over the hook and work your second single crochet. Chain two. We worked our first half of our first shell stitch. Insert your hook into that same chain two space. Yarn over the hook and work your first single crochet of the second half of that shell. Insert your hook into that same chain two space. Yarn over the hook and work your second single crochet. So this is our repeat. You're going to work two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet in each chain two space of each V stitch around. I'll show you one more time. Find the chain two space in the next V stitch is here. Insert your hook and work your first single crochet. Insert your hook into that same chain two space and work your second single crochet. You're going to chain two. 
you're going to work two more single crochet in the same chain two space. Sometimes I pull my work over, insert your hook into that same chain two space, and work one single crochet. Insert your hook into that same chain two space, and work a second single crochet. And that is your repeat. Two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet, in each chain two space of each V stitch around. So go ahead and repeat that around and I will meet you at the end of round nine. I'm over at the end of round nine and this is what your work should look like. I hope you can see it. So we're just going to join our round just like the other rounds. We're going to come up and we're going to find our first single crochet that we made. We're going to insert into that first single crochet, whoops, yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. We just slip stitched round nine together. I'm going to fasten off the way I always do, clip that yarn. I chain two, one, two, I pull up on my hook and pull that yarn out and then I just pull that down and then I'll weave in my ends when I'm finished. Okay, so this is our little V-stitch lace dishcloth. It's a fun little project, works up pretty quickly. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the V-stitch lace dishcloth, pattern number 516. It is available on my website, creativegrandma.net. It is a free, immediate download. You can go on the website. You can hit the link in the upper left corner that says Creative Grandma Patterns, and it'll take you to all the patterns I have available on the web. So when you see this, just click on it, and you can get the pattern immediately. Okay, everybody, thank you for stopping by, spending some time, having fun crocheting. I always enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. And please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Happy crocheting, everyone.